Uh, namaskar and uh, good afternoon to all attending this uh, 13th uh, national webinar organized by NATMO from Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Today, we have arranged uh, this webinar to celebrate World Youth Skills Day. In 2014, the United Nations General Assembly declared 15th of July as World Youth Skills Day to celebrate the strategic importance of equipping young people with skills for employment, decent work, and entrepreneurship. This year, it is a challenge for the youth to build up skill due to COVID-19 pandemic situation resulting in the disruption in the technical, vocational, and training sector. All the problems and prosperities will be discussed in today's webinar by our guest speaker, Sri Shottarup Shiddhanto, a Guinness World Record holder, Mountaineer. But uh, before the detailed discussion, this webinar will be inaugurated with the welcome address by Director NATMO, Dr. Tapoti Banerjee. Welcome, Madam. So, Namaskar to all of you present over here in this web platform. This is the 13th event of the national program of NATMO to commemorate 75 years of Indian independence. First of all, I, of welcome, all. I welcome to all the members, past and present members of NATMO who are present over here. I heartily welcome to all the members other than NATMO, that's my friends, colleagues, brothers, sisters, young scholars who are eager to listen from Shattarup Shiddhanto and especially today's lecture. And finally, I heartily welcome today's guest speaker, Mr. Shattarup Shiddhanto, a very young and most promising personality the youngest mountaineer of the world and even the first mountaineer of the world to climb the seven summits and even the volcanic summits. He himself became a role model for all of us through his journey, which is really rough and tough and of course controversial as well. And however, uh, his strong determination, of course, has made him the most successful man, not only in India, but also with the world. His honesty, his firmness, manliness, of course, and his patience. Overall patience had made him the global citizen. Friends, we are really in crisis under this COVID-19 pandemic situation. The crisis is all of, for all of us, especially for our future generation, for our, our young members. They are highly stressed. They are under intense mental pressure to resolve the crisis. If anyone asks to make a list, what type of crisis they are facing, that number will be in number. They are becoming addicted to screen, like drug addiction, which is not at all good for their future health. This young group who are working in the private organization are always scared of losing their job. Either they have to work from home and have to work for more than 12 to 16 hours a day and more and or else they have to go to office, traveling two to three hours bicycling, if he is not able to afford a car or motorbike. Because uh, all of us know that vehicles, public vehicles are uh, not running in planned manner. And those who are not in job, what is their future? A big question mark for them. Someone can suggest for a long, short term handouts like hold your breath, put your face in a ball of cold water for 30 seconds and relax. 
you'll be stress relief. But it is a for a while. But afterwards, a long line of dots again. What about midterm and long term solution? No plan for government side because we are all are puzzled. So today we will listen from our beloved young mountaineers. Of course, I hope it will be an inspirational talk for all of us to overcome the crisis or he may give some ideas how to overcome the crisis. So I request Srimati Madhuri Ma to invite our guest speaker, Mr. Shottarup Siddhanto for his valuable deliberations. With this, I thank you all. Namaskar. Jai Hind. Thank you, Madam, for your warm welcome address. Uh, I would request all the participants to kindly put off your audio. Please mute your audio. And uh, this is the time to hear from our esteemed guest speaker, Sri Shottarup Shiddhanto, a Guinness Book Record holder. He is the uh, youngest in this planet to climb the highest mountains and volcanoes of all the seven continents, apart from many other records. Uh, Shottarup is a motivational speaker, NLP coach, a software engineer, a social worker. He is the founding secretary of the most uh, impactful COVID-based uh, NGO of Bengal, COVID Care Network, and worked for uh, last one year. He also has a venture to organize leadership retreats at exotic places like Kilimanjaro, Everest Base Camp, and mm -hmm. Sandakfu. We are eagerly waiting to hear you, sir, mm -hmm. Mr. Shottarup Shintanto. Thank you so much. Uh, it, was, it is a pleasure to be here and uh, uh, during these extraordinary times that we are going through. And uh, before I start, uh, I hope the audio and the screen is uh, uh, like visible for you, all of you. Yeah. Yes, it is all right. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are going through uh, a very different kind of situation right now and uh, which probably in the last 100 years, uh, uh, we haven't uh, uh, like, you know, heard about that uh, this kind of situation had arise and uh, we don't know whether in future we will have some situations. Now, it's all about how we look at the situation and, um, but mostly when we look around, we get to see uh, people are stressed with uh, the job situation, the livelihood impact, the stress, uh, personal loss, the stock, feelings uh, like stock and course, the biggest thing is the mental, uh, uh, like in mental health uh, is a big issue uh, that uh, is the outcome of this COVID situation. But then, like, you know, uh, we as a human, human being, we have been uh, fighting uh, different, different ups and downs of our life uh, you know, uh, since uh, our existence, like be it when we were, uh, uh, like, you know, walking on four legs, from that time onwards, uh, uh, the indomitable spirit of human mankind has embraced uh, uh, like a lot of uncertainties uh, to uh, glide through all the all the strategies, all the problems, and uh, over time, we could emerge as a winner. And currently, this is the uh, like you know tug of war that is going on between uh, COVID and uh, us. But uh, that led to. Uh, bring into a corporate world uh, terminology called VUCA, VUCA world. So this is uh, not a typical colloquial um, acronym, but uh, we tend to think that we are safe in the safety net of our job, in the safety net of family, in the safety net of everything. Uh, a 10 to 5 job, we are safe. That is what we have been conditioned to. But that is our, uh, uh, like, you know, model of the world, right? But actually, the world, is it that consistent or is it ever changing? So in the reality, the world is VUCA, VUCA world. So it's an acronym for 
V for volatility, U for uncertainty, uh, C for complexity, and A for ambiguity. And uh, uh, we tried to, uh, like, you know, uh, 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 manage all these risks and try to, uh, like, lead our life uh, so far. But uh, the, the faster we can understand that the world is ever changing, the faster we can adapt. The faster, like you know, the agility is very important to tackle all all these kind of problems. And trust me, uh, when I, I I learned it in the hard way, like you know, so I I am a mountaineer, and uh, in mountains, one thing is very certain, and the only certain thing in mountaineering is the uncertainties. And uh, when you talk about mountain mountaineering, it's a highly volatile situation. High uncertainty, high risk, high complexity, high ambiguity. We don't even know what the next step is awaiting. We don't even know uh, what the weather will behave like. You know, uh, uh, and and I, I'll show you uh, what uh, it is. But I remember this word, VUCA world. And uh, when we come to this mountaineering, and when we have to cross a road like this, when we know both the sides. This side it is like uh, uh, almost a thousand meter, of, like you know, abyss, and uh, we have to cross these uh, with just no fixed ropes, uh, tied like you know all the mountaineers tied to each other, tied by not only the rope but tied by the trust, tied by the faith, and as we walk there, we get suddenly a hundred kilometer per hour wind. Now, can you imagine the uh, level of uh, uncertainty here? But then, what makes us glide through this is like you know, at this moment we have to be in this moment. We we can't think here that oh my God, what will happen if I fall? We can't think that oh my God, I have someone in at home, right? You know, at that point, be in the moment to tackle the problem, right? Because anything else doesn't add to the solution. So we have to be solution can like, you know, centric uh, approach. Now, I'll tell you, like, I had a dream of climbing Mount Everest. Uh, and in 2010, when I saw actually Mount Everest in front of me, that dream actually uh, sparked in me. And as I was, uh, uh, like, you know, going through this journey and uh, it was like, uh, it was very difficult to arrange all the funds and arrange everything and stuffs and all. But what happened uh, was that at the last moment we could arrange everything. And when life just uh, felt like, you know, everything is in place, every all plans uh, were in place and it's just a matter of we just go and we just climb and uh, uh, like, you know, we conquer. But then in reality, what exactly happened was The ground is shaking. What about the ground opened up? Sir, could you yes. please enhance the volume of the speaker? Yes, the sound is less, but just watch. This is oh, oh. 2015 Everest Base Camp. This is a video by one of my friends. I'll tell you that uh, when everything seemed perfect, when everything was falling into place, out of nowhere, and trust me, out of nowhere, the earth decided to shake it up. There was an earthquake. Sir, please enhance the volume of your speaker. Right. So just when everything was uh, coming as a perfect situation, we had this uh, uh, huge avalanche, and uh, just after that avalanche, uh, just after that earthquake, there was a huge avalanche that I showed the video, and uh, everything was devastated. Everything, like you know, there were 20, uh, 21 people died in base camp, and during that earthquake, 
more than 10,000 people unofficially had died in Nepal. Complete devastation. And added to that, all our money was lost. Like, you know, the expedition was not insured and uh, we lost around 18 lakhs. And this money was not my money alone. This was like my everything and uh, sponsors money and people uh, added to the crowdfunding. And just a few seconds, everything went for a toss. What am I supposed to do then? The dreams were strangled and broken. And then I was uh, trying to figure out many, like, you know, like a maniac that what do I do? What do I do? How can I climb? And then I came across this book called. Sir, please Dead enhance Dead. the volume of your speaker. I, this is the maximum uh, sound I can have. Uh, no, uh, uh, no uh, you, were, you were all right. Uh, I think uh, um, anybody is. Uh, no, it is all right. It is all right. Uh, yes, it is all right. Right. So uh, just when um, I came across this book in, in, in the midst of devastation and there were dead bodies lying wrapped in plastic. And while I was uh, thinking what to do, what to do, what to do. And I was highly stressed. And I don't know, like, you know, people are asking us to vacate that place because anytime there can be an aftershock. So I came across this book and something happened to me. And I got a big learning in life that day that I have lost an opportunity. I have lost all the money. But what I have not lost is the hope. What I have not lost is the determination that I, I have the dream and I have to protect it. And I can protect it as long as I am alive. So to be alive is the greatest gift that can ever happen. Because if I have the, uh, if I, ha if I'm alive, I am sure I can again, make some money. If I'm alive, I know that if, if not today, if not tomorrow, I can come back at the age of 60, at the age of 70 also to, cl to cl climb Mount Everest. Right. And I, I'm not joking when I'm talking about that. Uh, uh, I can come at 70 because uh, the oldest person who has climbed Everest is uh, more than 70 and uh, the oldest attempt was uh, more than 80. So what I'm trying to tell you is uh, it's not lost till you are not dead. So as long as you are alive, your hope is alive. And the hope, if you can keep it, it can solve majority of the problems. And here comes the uh, uh, quadrant of the known versus unknown. Now we all have been conditioned and we all like, as a human being, we all like to be in that comfort zone. Like, you know, where we understand everything, we have figured it out, everything, and we want to be cozy in that situation. And as long as, and we want to stay there. But whenever we are trying to go outside of our comfort zone, it creates a lot of stress because we can't handle the uncertainties, right? But the beauty is the majority of the success didn't happen here. The majority of success happened here. Now I'll tell you with simple examples. Would you appreciate Sachin Tendulkar uh, creating a double century against uh, very weak teams or would you want to appreciate Sachin Tendulkar uh, playing a great innings versus a very difficult team? Very simple, right? So we, we love to win against tough matches like you know so so this is the place where they operate like you know so when they don't know when glenn magra is bowling the next like you know what will happen uh similarly in mountaineering we don't know that uh what is going to happen like you know so and all the even COVID care network that we are talking about like you know, as an introduction it was created because there were a lot of uncertainty uncertainties around us right and we Suppose we are like you know, after my uh, Everest expedition failure on the first attempt, I got more determined and I was in that uncomfortable situation. And that led me to prepare myself more. That led me to wake up 
early in the morning and go for that extra run, go for that swimming, go for that cycling. And it wouldn't happen if I was in that first quadrant. That uncomfortableness pushed me to uh, like, you know, bring the best out of me, right? So majority of the inventions, majority of the things happen from that unknown, unknown zone. And I, I'll tell you the journey, like, you know, when we are pushed from that uh, comfort zone, this is the typical cycle. Like, you know, that first comes a denial phase. No, 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 this can't be, this can't happen. Then the fear, the fear that, oh my God, this is not my cup of tea. And like, you know, this is, how am I going to handle this? And stress, a lot of stress. And this, what we call is the victim mindset. Like, you know, then like anger comes in, like, you know, why, why, why me? Like, you know, why I have to get uh, affected by this? Like this COVID situation, look at that, right? We had a lot of plans. We had a lot of things. Even personally, I left my job in 2019 to start my own uh, travel business uh, um, in January 2020. And just in March, the world changed. Now I had two choices to curse the world that why this has happened to me, why me? First is denial, no, 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 COVID will go away. Then the shock, then the anger, then the frustration. And then I was thinking because of this, because of that, because of this, this, this happened. And then anxiety comes in and this is a loop and a forever loop that will go on and on and on. This loop, you have to keep an eye on that. This is called the victim mindset. Uh, and as long as you are in this loop, you are not being, you will not be able to come out of, uh, like, you know, you will not be able to do something constructive. So to bring that out, so you have to dive into that something that you have never done before. So first comes the acceptance that yes, Things has happened. Now what? So earthquake happened. Money lost. Now what? Right? And then the growth mindset. Then you start for looking for what are the options that are available? What can I do? What can I do differently? What new can I do? That comes the growth mindset. And then comes the journey of transformation. Then you start like, you know, redesigning, replanning, everything. Just like, you know, when uh, we, we went through that first uh, lockdown, we were not sure what to do. And we were doing those Dalgona coffees and counting the number of holes in the mosquito nets and all those uh, things. But slowly, slowly, when we started accepting as a new normal, we embraced a digital platform like this. And today's uh, uh, meeting is happening also because of, uh, like, you know, we decided to, we accepted the situation and we started moving forward with a growth mindset and we transformed, right? So this journey from known, known to unknown, unknown, it can become smooth when you can accept that things had happened. So the first step is acceptance. And then when you accept, you embrace the uncertainties and that will keep you running because you will try to find out some ways because Genetically, human beings are not meant to give up. That's why people, even at the age of 95, they will still don't want to die because they want to live. Because that is our genetically coding thing that you have to survive. Survive against all the odds. And this uncomfortableness makes you run. And you will find ways. And when you, if you don't run, if you just think, you will not find a way. Right? And that comes the biggest thing called attitude because how you look at the situation that has happened a situation happened that is not in your control but how you are reacting to that situation makes all the difference hence the same lockdown some people might go into that netflix mode and uh, overeating and uh, unhealthy junkies and everything and all Whereas some people took this as an opportunity to go for that fitness, right? Now, it happened both, both sides. Like, you know, so some people who were into fitness got into this. Some people who were into this got into this. Like, you know, so it all determines that what is your reaction to that event, right? The same moment, some people are minting money taking this uh, pandemic Whereas some people just give up, right? Is it really to give up? How are other people doing, 
right? So that finding that opportunity and not to give up is the key. And for that attitude is very important. Now I'll tell you a very briefly, uh, this is a concept of uh, like, you know, what are the uh, basic necessities of a human being, right? The basic necessities, like, you know, apart from Roti Kapra Makan, like, you know, that is a very cliche thing. But if you actually go through our mind and heart uh, in this pandemic uh, situation, like, you know, you will see that human being, the first thing that human being crave for is certainty, right? Everything that we do, we go for a job, we go for a uh, health checkup, we go for this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Certainty, right? And we try to find out answers that what caused COVID? Okay, Chinese uh, <laughs> uh, did this or Bill Gates did this. And why we are doing that? Because we try to find answers and we don't want that to be like uh, unknown. Right? We don't like that unknown thing too much, right? Oh, once you find someone to blame that, okay, fine, fine. That's the reason. Now I am certain, right? So our basic human behavior is to have that level of certainty. Next need, need is the uncertainty. Now you might think that it is contradictory. Like, you know, you need certainty also, you need uncertainty also. Yes. Once we have that level of certainty, then we look for some adventure then we look for new ventures, right? And we appreciate uncertainty provided that there is some level of certainty, right? And I'll come to that in depth. Uh, the next thing that uh, we look for is the significance that I matter, my opinion matters, right? So that is very important for a human being for their existence, significance, right? And uh, that's why, like, you know, you will see like a lot many people want to make a point and why? Because they want that significance and this is a basic need. And you have to understand these uh, things to tackle uh, the crisis situations, because once you can address these needs and not all needs, uh, I'll tell you. And then the next one is the love and relationship, right? You know, so people crave for. Uh, uh, love and relationship, and it not to be a, like a boyfriend girlfriend love. Like you know, it can be a family, uh, it can be a pet, it can be anything. But that is like you can think of our heart as uh, compartments. Like you know, these six compartments that we have, we have to fill it up uh, to like you know. These are the basic necessities. Like you know, and then comes the growth. Because after some time, we feel that you know we are stagnant. I need to learn something new, right? Uh, I need to improve my career. I need to change a career. I need to uh, go somewhere. I need to think differently. So there comes that growth, the growth mindset. It's also necessary. Now, when everything comes into picture, then you feel the need to contribute, to contribute towards the society, to contribute towards anything. Like you know, so, but then that need is also there. But what happens is. You cannot go and go for uh, like, you know, we have priorities, right? You know, the first it, it is like first priority is your certainty. If you are uncertain there too much, you will not have even thoughts of doing a contribution. You will not even thought of doing a growth mentality because that time is your need to uh, address the fear and the fear. The greatest fear is not the fear that somebody will kill me. The greatest fear is the fear of unknown. So we have to tackle that to tackle the crisis situation, right? And so but then when you see these all these six, you will get to see that we have to find out and these numbers are going to change for every one of you, depending on how you have uh, spent your childhood and how you grew up and how you are conditioned. Some people have more affinity towards uh, significance. Some people have more affinity towards uncertainties, right? Uh, some people have more affinity towards certainty, like, you know, so you have to go and re retrospect and reflect and find out that what is your accepted value of certainty in your life? How much, like in a, in a scale of one to 10, how much do you want each of these in your compartments, right? Now, once you do that, you'll see uh, in this pandemic situation, maybe the certainty level is much less 
and it's like maybe currently in this situation certainty is maybe two whereas uncertainty is uh, four and the trick is you can handle even eight uncertainty provided you have a strong base of certainty right your number of certainties is more right so you cannot operate with a sane mind when you are everything is uh, like not sure not sure what will happen what will happen anxiety you can't do that so then what happens so in my control things i cannot change right that is like it's not in my control but in my control i see that i don't have any control like two only and what can i do to improve this uh, number like you know if i can improve this number then the ability to handle more uncertain uncertainties is increased many folds like you know so to do this uh, improving this number from 2 to 8 we can do very small small things like you know what are we certain we don't know what like you know it's uncertain in the future right but is something certain in the current situation yes what are those i can for sure wake up tomorrow at say uh, like this was an and actually i was doing an uh, uh, a workshop with one of the guy so he works in the night shift and wakes up in 2 pm so but i'm just telling you an example that what is in your control for sure you can wake up at a given time say six o'clock you can go for that morning walk at say 6 30. you can go and uh, like you know learn a new dish for sure you can um, uh, learn a new skill you can pick up a new skill for sure now for sure whatever you can do just go and do those things first and if you can do that you will see slowly slowly you are getting more confident and slowly slowly your score in your control the certainties are going to increase because you are no more operating from the frame of future that oh what is future going to be what is going to be third wave or not five fifth wave seventh wave tenth wave uh, my kids are going to get affected that is going to this that lockdown don't operate from there because there are more certainties certain uh, uncertainties and you will not have the score of certainties uh, like it will be very low so bring that point of reference from operating from the future to operating in the present and start doing things which are in your control and do more things which are in your control draw that picture draw write that uh, poem uh, click that picture whatever like you know so you will see that your certainty level has increased a lot and this is the key and you will see that things you have developed a skill to handle more stress to handle more uncertainties to keep yourself calm in the realm of uncertainties and this is the belief system that you have to bring it and and like you know we often miss the things that you know what is what, what do we want we want happiness we want success but then we relate that that oh success means a lot of money and as soon as that lot of money is not happening i feel that oh i am unsuccessful but is it really probably to be successful maybe i have i if i can find some other ways what will make me feel successful because if you have only one way you are stuck you have two ways you are in a dilemma you have two or more like three or more it's like you have choices so create as many choices as you can okay this is gone okay my business is gone what can i do okay do this this is gone okay i can go for the consulting oh this is gone okay let me if life has thrown you a lemon make a lemonade out of it so covid came we started covid care network and we jumped towards the covid right and that made us to understand the uncertainties a lot more we got more informed we got more enriched and that helped us to save not many more lives lives of our friends families and so many unknown people right so happiness i want to be happy but i have linked happiness or anchored happiness that only when i have a big house then i'll be happy why tomorrow if you just wake up and take a stroll in your roof rooftop 
can be happy. So give set small, small uh, rules for happiness. Like, you know, it's not that I will be happy only when I have $1 million. No, celebrate small wins because that makes a huge, huge difference, right? And then, so, so focus not on the means, focus on what you really want and find out those options. Because only when you have multiple options, you can play around. If one stuck, gets stuck, you find something else, you find something else, you find something else. And I'm telling you from my own life, like, you know, so <laughs> I have been experimenting with my life a lot, right? And I have left my stable job and I started, jumped into entrepreneurship, but then entrepreneurship took a backseat. I went into COVID situation, but then I have bills to pay. I started working in the night to do some consulting. Then I tried to pick up some skills. I'm now learning some uh, share market and bitcoins and things like that, right? In a normal situation, I wouldn't have done any of the things, right? Because I was pushed into that un uncomfortable zone, the unknown, unknown zone, I went and explored more ways. And as I explored more ways, I found more ways. So there are ways always there. It's not stuck. Only you have to take that one step ahead. And then you will see that you will be able to implant a belief system. Doesn't matter today, pandemic, tomorrow, something else. In the face of this worst and unknown adversaries, you have to implant that belief system that, yes, I can. Yes, be it anything. I have that resolve. I have that ability to tackle all these situations and I can glide through that. And I can tell you for sure you can do it because that's in your gene. It's naturally there, but somehow our society has conditioned us and tagged us. No, you are not successful. You are not good at that. You are not good at that, but look inwards. Go for that real values of your life and you will see that you are much, much stronger than what you think you are. You are much, much capable, like, you know, capable than what you think you are. And that belief system can move mountains, I'll tell you. And then you will be able to go to this kind of situations where for a normal people, it is like, oh my God, it's so dangerous. Anytime this can fall, that can fall. Whereas the person who will be there will be super mindful about the whole situation and probably enjoying this, the, the beauty of the nature rather than focusing on all the uh, dangers and these and that. Does that mean he is taking uh, unwanted risk? No, he has mitigated all the risk, but he also knows to keep calm in that situation in the face of adversary and appreciate life as it is because life is not just a straight line. It will be so boring if it was on only like, you know, straight but it is like our ECG, ECG, like, you know, it's a lot of ups and downs and ups and downs in life is actually makes life so interesting and so appreciating. So uh, my in invitation to you all is that like, you know, uh, look deep into yourself, identify your strengths, learn something new and bring that entrepreneur mindset of yours. And you will see that uh, uh, like, you know, this will help you to glide to, and this helps me to glide through all the uh, uncertainties, all the uh, crisis situations in life and still move on with the basic instinct, survival and survival for the fittest. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Shiddhanto. Your positivity is the key to your success. Uh, and you are working for the future India. We are so, so grateful to you. Uh, before we go to the interactive session, all the participants are requested to put on your video. Please put on your video participants. And uh, I would request our director, Dr. Tapoti Banerjee, to initiate the interactive session. Thank you, Mr. Shatharu, your uh, excellent and motivational speech. Uh, actually, uh, I think it is uh, two years back when you are in news. I was really, I became a fan of you 
although you are very young, uh, still I am very much fan of you because you have come up yourself you, by your motivation, by your aim, and by your uh, mental power. And uh, you are very much right what you have told. Either uh, you ha we are to come out from Vuka, as you told, otherwise we will be in Vuka. Uh, and regarding this comfort zone, really we have to come out. If we want to be in the uh, comfort zone, I think uh, you won't get uh, that much of success to reach the high. You have to come out from uh, this comfort zone. Uh, regarding uh, certainty, of course, we have to uh, think on this, uh, this certainty and uncertainty, what we have to choose. And uh, basically, uh, what you explained that uh, this need, that is the most important. Unless you feel any need to work, then uh, success, success won't come. So uh, I think uh, really it is a motivational uh, for all of us under this special situation, uh, because as you told in the initially, uh, we all who are present over here, uh, I'm talking about natural people who are not at all comfortable with this webinar, with this web platform. Now, uh, I, I am proud to inform you that all my members are habituated with this system. They are very much comfortable with this system. And uh, almost uh, every week we are uh, going through this type of webinar, this type of lecture series uh, because of this webinar. Uh, if that COVID won't come, I think uh, we, were, uh, not, we won't be able to uh, uh, accommodate ourselves in this situation. Uh, to come out of the problems, we are habituated with the physical presence only, physical seminar only. So this is one type of good uh, chance for us. I think uh, most of the people who are present to worry a chance for all to know about this technology advance, to accept this technology as well, advancement. So uh, really it's an inspirational talk. Uh, with this, I thank you again uh, for your uh, inspirational talk, motivational talk. Uh, anybody else is there who want to interact with Mr. Shiddhanto? Please come forward. And language is not a bar, please. Uh, so the language 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 yes, yes. I myself, Dr. Shiddhanto, I see our national group of self-service. Uh, Mr. Shiddhanto, it was a really and I can't express my words because I'm a Kishunagi Arjun Mountaineer. The Delta Joshua actor speech to a chillam, Apne of the Genonio, Duajar, Solo Chale, Mount Everest, Joy Kurichilen, the Ami Amade Pichu Politiki Hajo Rao, Joy Kuriche, the Unior Flag Decade came to Ami Bose Dizane, Aprasteke Sune, Mane, how much I have benefited that will only time will tell, but really. The level of the COVID situation is correlated to the Jinista Bulletin. Really, the Manusha confidence that he level of the party to the Indian life. The Captain Bulletin. So, hats of you. Thanks so much, Mr. Shizanto. National Director Dr. Banerji, I'm okay. Shopale links to share for it. So, thank you, Madam. Also, so thanks for everything. I really, really liked your presentation. Thank you, thank you. I should tell you about it. It's an uncomfortable zone because I'm here to take a talk. Uh, uh, I don't know. Non mountaineering talk. Chilo I'm gonna catch it. Uh, the shit out had made me to uh, uh, bring out something new from myself, like you know, but uh, uh, definitely. I mean, so I keep Bolbo J. Abner up in a comfort zone to get it on a different genius for one. It took a different uh, to the body to get the body ticket to contact to under a study to the gun. There are not neural connections to record it. She look into on a shit at our advanced Dinish Ponadin history. I'm a discussion called work done here, but uh, are going to question that late? I'm a question at here. I'm a doctor Rita Bottajaria. I'm a question holo. I'm not on your say on a bacha de nia Kajkuri. Normally, science and technology nia. এখানে আমরা ওদের যখন ওয়েবিনার করাই নানান রকম অ্যাক্টিভিটিস করাই ওরা খুব এনজয় করে 
কারণ ওই যে কমফোর্টেবল জোনের বাইরে আসছে বা এক ঘেমের বাইরে যাচ্ছে কোর্সটা শেষ হয়ে গেলে ওরা বলে ম্যাম আবার কবে করব ওখানে আমরা কিছু বাচ্চাকে দেখি যারা প্রচন্ড রেস্টলেস প্রচন্ড এবং এই যে আপনার ভীষণ মোটিভেশনাল টক ইন্সপায়ার করার মতন কথাবার্তা সেগুলো তখন তারা নিতে পারে না সেই সময়ে অনেকের বাবা মা ভীষণ ভালো ফিডব্যাক দিচ্ছে অনেকের বাবা মা বলছে যে বাচ্চাটা আরো বেশি রেস্টলেস হয়ে যাচ্ছে বিকজ অফ ওয়াট এটা আমি জানতে চাইছে আমরা সব সময় ভেরি পজিটিভিটি দিচ্ছি পজিটিভ ভাইভ দিচ্ছি মোটিভেশনাল কথা বলছি ইভেন দেন ওরা কেউ বেশি রেস্টলেস হয়ে যাচ্ছে যেমন কোন এক বাচ্চা পনেরো দিন আগে কোচ শেষ হয়েছে এখনো দিনে দশ বারো বার করে আমায় ফোন করে আমি কখনো না বলি না বিকজ আমি বুঝতে পারি সে নিড সামথিং তো কিন্তু এই যে এগুলো তার মা কমপ্লেন করেছে ও সমস্ত টিচারদের এরকম ফোন করে ইউ ডোন্ট এন্টারটেন হার বাচ্চার মতো করে ভাবতে হবে যে আমরা গুরু গম্ভীর কথা বললাম তো বাচ্চারা সেটাকে নেবে আর আমরা প্রত্যেকটা পার্সন আমরা কি এই যতজন আমরা আজকে এখানটায় ওয়েবিনারটা শুনেছি ডিফারেন্ট হচ্ছে তো আমাকে তাদের মতো করে ভাবতে হবে দরকার হলে আমাকে সেগ্রিগেট করে দিতে হবে তো আমার ফোন নাম্বার পাবলিকলি অ্যাভেলেবেল রীতা ম্যাডাম আপনি আমাকে কন্ট্যাক্ট করতে পারেন আমি উইলিনেটলি আপনি যদি কোন একদিন আমাদের এখানে বিজ্ঞানী কাশ দিতেও বাচ্চাদের বলেন দেখুন জাপানিজ কিছু মানে মানে মার্শাল আর্টস এ বলে যে সেটা আরো বেশি ডেঞ্জারাস মানে বেশি এফোর্ট লাগে একটা অ্যাটাক কে ব্লক করছে কিন্তু ওইটাকে ডিভিয়েট করে দিতে হবে তাহলে কম এফোর্টে মানে কি হচ্ছে চ্যানেলাইজ দ্য রেসলেসনেস টু সামথিং কনস্ট্রাকটিভ রাদার দ্যান স্টপ দ্যাট রেসলেসনেস কারণ যার রেসলেসনেসটা আছে বুঝবেন যে তার এনার্জি অনেক হাই তো সেটাকে সাপ্রেস করার কোনো মানে হয় না বরঞ্চ সেটাকে যদি ঠিক জায়গায় চ্যানেলাইজ করা যায় তাহলে পরে আমার মনে হয় এটা অনেক এটা আমার পার্সোনাল এক্সপিরিয়েন্স এবং পার্সোনাল পার্সোনাল আমার মোবাইল দরকারি কাজেও বন্ধ রাখতে হয় বিকজ অফ মাই ডটার তো এই যে ওদের মোবাইল অ্যাডিকশন এখন তো ওদের নেসেসিটি হয়ে গেছে মোবাইল সেটাকেও বা কি করে কমানো যায় আমার যেটা মনে হয় পার্সোনালি ইজ এডুকেশনাল স্কিলস ডেফিনেটলি মানে একাডেমিক স্কিলস ডেফিনেটলি ইম্পর্টেন্ট বাট কোভিড সিচুয়েশন কিন্তু আমাদের দেখিয়ে দিয়েছে যে টু ট্যাকেল এ সিচুয়েশন আনসার্টেন সিচুয়েশন লাইক দিস বা এক্সট্রা অর্ডিনারি সিচুয়েশন লাইক দিস একাডেমিক স্কিল অ্যালোন ওয়ান্ট হেল্প দরকার তাহলে কি দরকার লাইফ স্কিলস অ্যান্ড লাইফ স্কিলস বাড়িতে বসে বই পড়ে খালি হয় না লাইফ স্কিলসের জন্য বাইরে যেতে হবে 
আরো জগৎটাকে বাঁচাতে হবে এবং নিজেদের আরো এক্সপোজ করতে হবে কোভিড এর কাছে নয় বা আরো এক্সপিরিয়েন্স এর কাছে এক্সপোজ করতে হবে নিজেদের তা আমি ছোটবেলা থেকে বাবা মা বলে যায় যে খালি ডাক্তার হতে হবে আর ইঞ্জিনিয়ার হতে হবে আর ছোটবেলা থেকে বলতে হবে আইদার ক্রিকেটার হতে হবে বা ফুটবলার হতে হবে এই যে ধারণাটা হয়ে যাচ্ছে তাহলে আমরা এতটাই সংকীর্ণ হয়ে যাচ্ছে জিনিসটাতে তো আমি হয়তো আমার ক্যাপাসিটি ছিল একটা ফেন্সিং করার বা মাউন্টেনিয়ারিং করার বা টেবিল টেনিস করার বা অন্য কিছু করার কিন্তু আমি সেদিকে আমাকে এক্সপ্লোরই করতে দিলাম না আর আমি এটা নিয়ে করতে গেলাম এবং আমি দুটোর মধ্যে কোনোটাই পারলাম না বিকজ আই ওয়াজ নেভার মেন্ট ফর ক্রিকেট আর ফুটবল তাহলে কি আমার অন্য কিছু করার রাইট নেই হয়তো আমি প্রবলি মোর চেস ওরিয়েন্টেড হতে পারতাম বা আমি হয়তো শুটিং করতে পারতাম কিন্তু আমরা সেটাকে দেখতে হবে বাচ্চাদের দিকে দোষ না দিয়ে আমরা দেখতে হবে যে আমরা প্যারেন্টিংটাকে ঠিকঠাক করছি আমরা কি তাকে এক্সপোজারটা দিতে পারছি কিনা নাকি আমরাও কন্ডিশন হয়ে যাচ্ছি চারপাশে যে সবাইকে বিরাট কোহলি হতে হবে সবাইকে সৌরভ গাঙ্গুলি হতে হবে রাইট তো সেই তাদের যেই ন্যাচারাল স্কিলস গুলোকে আইডেন্টিফাই করে তাদের লাইফ স্কিল ডেভেলপ করাতে হবে এবং তাদেরকে আজকে বাচ্চা একটা বাচ্চা পড়ে গেলে আহা বাবা বাচ্চা করে তিন চারজন চলে আসে বাইরে ধুলো আছে যাবে না কিন্তু ছোটবেলায় যদি আমরা দেখি আমাদের জেনারেশনের আগের জেনারেশনের তো আমরা মানে বাইরে ঘুরে ঘুরে তাদের একটা ন্যাচারাল ইমিউনিটি তৈরি হয়ে আছে তারা মানে আরো মানে কি বলবো মানে আরো আরো স্ট্রং লাইফ স্কিলস তৈরি হয়ে থাকে রাইট তো আমাদের সেই জায়গাগুলোকে দেখতে হবে যে আমরা যদি তাদেরকে সেই এক্সপোজারটা দিতে পারি তাদেরকে যদি আমরা আরো আনকমফোর্টেবল সিচুয়েশন ফেলতে পারি যেমন অ্যাডভেঞ্চার গ্রেট ওয়ে অফ পুটিং দেম ইন টু ইয়ে তাদের তাকে ডিসিপ্লিন শেখায় তাকে নিজের মানে বাচ্চারা যখন ক্যাম্পে যায় এখানে কৃষ্ণনন্দা আছে কৃষ্ণনন্দা ভালো বলতে পারবে যখন ক্যাম্পে যায় বাচ্চারা বাবা মারা অবাক হয়ে যায় যে তারা দেখি যে বাচ্চা তার নিজের থালা বাসন নিজে মারছে নিজের বিছানা নিজে তৈরি করছে নিজে ঠিক সময় ঠিক ছটার সময় ঘুম থেকে উঠছে যে বাড়িতে নটার সময় ঘুম থেকে উঠে না হ্যাঁ এই যে ইয়েটা এই যে এই যে জিনিসপত্র গুলো যেগুলো মানে তার মানে ইয়ে হলো আর কি মানে ফ্লাওয়ারিং হচ্ছে সেই জিনিসটার জন্য আমাকে তো তাকে একটা জায়গা দিতে হবে তাকে তো আমাকে সেই সিচুয়েশনে ফেলতে হবে আমি তো ডিমটাকে অমলেট যদি করতে হয় ডিমটাকে তো ফাটাতে হবে না ফাটি তো আমি অমলেট করতে পারবো না তো আমার সেটাই বক্তব্য যে লাইফ স্কিলস এর দিকে জোর দিতে হবে এবং একাডেমিক্স এ যদি নাও করে এক্সট্রা কারিকুলার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস এ মোর মানে তাদেরকে আরো বাইরে নিয়ে আসতে ঘরের মধ্যে বসলে ওই ফোনে 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 ফোনেই একটা জেনারেশন কেটে যায় আমাদের কাছে সাংঘাতিক কারণ আমরা তো পেরে উঠবো না কোনোদিন আপনাদের গল্পটাই শুনবো আমার একটা আপনার কাছে প্রশ্ন হচ্ছে যে ভবিষ্যতে কি জঙ্গল এক্সপ্লোরেশনের আপনার কোন পরিকল্পনা আছে কারণ অ্যামাজনটা নিয়ে আমরা ভীষণ ভাবে চিন্তিত আপাতত চলুন নর্থ ইস্ট ঘুরে আসি মেঘালয় টেঘালয় খুব ভালো জায়গা এখন ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ট্রাভেল যাওয়া উচিত না ছোট দিকে স্টার্ট হোক তারপরে আবার বড় দিয়ে হবে জঙ্গল যত বেশি কমে যাবে আরো বেশি এই ভাইরাস এবং ব্যাকটেরিয়া আরো বেশি আমাদের ছেকে ধরবে আর কি সেই জন্য আমাদের এটা খুব দরকার ঠিক আছে তাদের জন্য একটু করে তাদের সাথে করে যেমন নরেন্দ্রপুর রামকৃষ্ণ মিশনের যিনি প্রিন্সিপাল আছেন ডক্টর বিশ্বজিৎ ঘোষ উনিও কিন্তু মাউন্টেনিয়ারিং এ অনেক জায়গায় গেছেন যারা হয় বা 
অন্য স্পেশালি এবিল যারা হয় তাদের অন্য সেন্স গুলো এত ভালো ডেভেলপ থাকে ইট ইজ মাচ বেটার দ্যান আমাদের আমাদের থেকেও বেশি এবং সেটাকে যদি ঠিক করে কালচার করা যায় ছোট থেকে ইভেন বড় হলেও জিনিসটা তো ডেফিনেটলি আই টু ওপেন ফর দ্যাট আমি অলরেডি একটা ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল চাইল্ড প্রোটেকশনের জন্য যারা হোমের বাচ্চাদের জন্য আমি কিছু প্রোগ্রাম একটা প্রপোজাল পাঠিয়েছি কিন্তু এই কোভিডের সিচুয়েশনে সেটা হয়নি বাট আই উড লাভ টু ওয়াক উইথ দেন okay then we can uh, we can be with you because uh, i i feel um, uh, bishwajit ghosh from ramen nonandpur amkrishna mission uh, i think uh, he will be glad to know if you uh, start this type of program nation building er kaj amader shobari kora uchit amar mone hoy karon dekhun ekta point porjonto ami korlam ami jitlam but if i don't give back to the society there is no point in any of the achievements be it mountaineering be it anywhere right you know to এবং আমরা সেটা খুব মানে হারে হারে বুঝতে পেরেছি যখন আমরা তো কোনোদিন ভাবতে পারিনি যে আমরা মানে ওরকম একটা অপরচুনিটি পাবো কোভিডের সময় যে কোভিড কেয়ার নেটওয়ার্ক যেই অর্গানাইজেশনটা আমরা করেছি আর কি সবাই মিলে একটা পার্টিসিপেটারি এন্ডিভার তো তখন বুঝলাম যে দেন লাইফ ইজ মাচ মোর মিনিংফুল একটা পারপাসফুল লাইফ রাদার দ্যান জাস্ট রানিং বিহাইন্ড অ্যাচিভমেন্টস অ্যান্ড অ্যাচিভমেন্টস অ্যান্ড অ্যাচিভমেন্টস অ্যান্ড দেন দ্য হোল সোসাইটি ডিডেন্ট বেনিফিট ফ্রম ইট তো আমাদের যদি আমরা একটু একটু করে যদি সবাই মানে ওই যে কন্ট্রিবিউশনের পার্টটা যে need not to be at a monetary contribution hote hobe ami to giye jodi kauke ektu khani ektu motivate korte pari tar nijer shopno puroner dike seta to amake chhate bishal boro pao na to seta amar mone hoy shobai kom beshi korte pari amra to nischoy ami i will be more than happy to uh, like you know find my purpose okay thank you anybody else is there it, it is a wonderful interactive session is going on ইনোভেশন ইজ দা কি so then you know if if i dig uh, you know dig deep down in me like as you said it is self introspection dekhte hobe je mane amar bhetor kar needs to mane question to i have man personally felt amar eto din boyshe plus ami dekheo chi je onekei amra khub confused thaki je ki kora uchit ki ki kora uchit na mane amar question to hocche ei confusion ta jate ektu kom hoy আর লোকে কি করে ফোকাসে আসবে হাউ ক্যান দে ফাইন্ড দিয়ার ইনার সেলস মানে এই ব্যাপারে কিছু বক্তব্য আছে হার্ড মেন্টালিটি বলে একটা মেন্টালিটি হয় এইচ আর ডি হার্ড মেন্টালিটি সবাই এটা করছে তাই আমাকে করতে হবে সেই জিনিসটা থেকে যতদিন না বেরাতে পারবো ততদিন আমারই কনফিউশন থেকে যাবে কেন বলছি যে ও করছে এরকম তাহলে আমিও করব এরকম তাহলে পরে যদি আমার কনফিউশন দূর হয় কিন্তু trust your gut feeling trust your feelings trust your understanding of the situation and go for it you have a maximum fail have if you fail you will learn if you win you celebrate the celebration are important learning are important and failure tokhoni hoy jokhon is like when i am in english e what ta bolchi je falling is not failing not to get up is failing nole pore to ajke ei je vaccine prothom failure tai to tale failure hoye chole jeto je hocche na hocche na hocche na ei je hocche na hocche na is a part of process ota to ei process er moddhei 5 6 khana 7 khana 7000 khana holo na tar pore holo amar ami mount everest er age 2 bochor 3 bochor dhore chithi pathiye gechi sponsorship er jonno after 100 khana chithi ami prothom response pai and she response ta chilo che no then i should give up amar ekhon current mane ei paharer jonno eto lon ton hoye gechilo ekono hoye ache amar to bodhomei panic attack hoye jhule pora uchit chilo right kintu amra to genetically ar amader nijeder connect ta root khujte hobe ebong আমি 
আমার আসল জিনিসটা বোঝার চেষ্টা করছে নটা অত সহজ নয় মশাই তাই না তো ওই যে পেঁয়াজটাকে ছাড়ি কারণ পেঁয়াজের লেয়ার গুলো হচ্ছে আমাদের যে সোসাইটি আমাদের যে লার্নিং সেগুলোকে এগুলো আমরা সব লেয়ার করে রেখেছি এই লেয়ারটাকে আস্তে আস্তে ছাড়িয়ে হোয়াট আর উই আওয়ার ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালিটি আমরা কি আমাদের স্ট্রেংথ কি সেই জায়গাটাতে পৌঁছাতে হবে দেন এনি জার্নি ইজ ইউর জার্নি রাইট তখন তুমি যাই করবে ইউ উইল গো ফর দ্যাট এক্সেলেন্স অ্যান্ড ইউ উইল সি ইনোভেশন ইজ এ বাই প্রোডাক্ট তুমি কখনো মাথায় ভেবে করো আজকে চলো আজকে লেটস ইনোভেট সামথিং ওর ভাবে হয় না ওটা হয়ে যায় জিনিসটা কিন্তু ইয়ার টু বি প্যাশনেট অ্যান্ড কিউরিয়াস অ্যাবাউট দ্য হোল সিচুয়েশন অ্যান্ড জাস্ট মানে নেভার্স এ ডাই অ্যাটিচিউড আর কি যে করেই যেতে হবে এটা হচ্ছে না অন্যটা অন্যটা হচ্ছে না অন্যটা কি তারপরে একটা ক্লিক করবেই সেটাই তো আমাদের এক্সিস্টেন্সের সিক্রেট রাইট আমরা কনস্ট্যান্টলি ইভলভ করি ইভলভ করি থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ ফর অল দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন্স আশা করি লাইক আই ডিড জাস্টিস টু দ্য টাইম দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ স্পেন্ড অন মি কারণ একটা লোকে সবচেয়ে মানে কস্টলিয়েস্ট পজিশন যেটা মানি কান্ট বাই ইস টাইম ইউ হ্যাভ গিভেন দ্য টাইম টু মি সত্যি কথা বলতে যে অ্যাট দ্য প্যাক এন্ড অফ মাই লাইফ যদি আমি পৃথিবীর সব টাকা দিও কিন্তু আমি আর লাইফের এক মিনিট কিনতে পারবো না সেখানটায় আপনারা আমার সঙ্গে এক ঘন্টা টাইম দিলেন আমার আমি কৃতজ্ঞ এবং আপনারা খুব ভালো থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন ধন্যবাদ থ্যাংক ইউ সো সো মাচ মিস্টার সিদ্ধান্ত ক্যান উই এন্ড হিয় Uh, at the end, uh, I would like to thank all the participants, uh, Director Natmo, Dr. Tapoti Banerjee, all the officers and staff members of Natmo and DST, and of course, our guest speaker, Mr. Shotarup Shiddhanto. And this uh, webinar will come to an end with our national anthem. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharata bhagya vidhata Panjava sindha gurjarata maratha Dravida utkada vanga Vindya himachala ramuna ganga Ujjala jaladhita ranga জন গণ মঙ্গল দায়ক জয় হে ভারত ভাগ্য বিধাতা জয় হে জয় হে জয় হে Jaya 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 J